the event really transpired. Crypto appeared to have the full support of the U.S. government. It approved an exchange-traded fund for Bitcoin and is now approving one for Ethereum. Something fishy is going on behind the scenes. However, what is happening in reality? Why haven't? We heard about it before. You will not find this film anywhere else. It is exclusive. Therefore, let us not dally for a second and go right to the point. Caution today, there is breaking news. Shiba Inus have suffered a devastating loss of 84% in a crucial statistic today. Because the whales are large holders. Have mysteriously disappeared. The Shiba Inu community is perplexed by the sudden decline. As they try to put the pieces together, the Shiba Inu army is bewildered and confused. But what occurred just now? Concerned about possible tighter laws and a less hospitable climate for cryptocurrencies, many. Enthusiasts are anxious and unsure about what lies ahead. Now, let me tell you something crucial. This unexpected change of events has many people baffled. After all, exchange traded funds ETFs for Bitcoin and even. More recently, Ethereum were both approved by the U.S. government. People were getting ready for what could have been a bull run. But this turn of events caught everyone off guard. A feeling of bewilderment and annoyance is noticeable among crypto aficionados for whom the future of the market is. A mystery and a source of anxiety. Hold on, could you tell me what just occurred? Allow me to clarify. The big cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has voiced strong disapproval of the way the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is handling crypto industry regulation. Coinbase has been making repeated requests to the United States Court of Appeals to compel the SAC to start establishing equitable regulations for the cryptocurrency business, and it has recently filed a new brief in this regard. Following this, the SAC stated, destruction of digital assets is a severe matter for the SAC. In their view, the SAC's strategy of regulating via enforcement is an attempt to suffocate the cryptocurrency market and the sector as a whole. This is really insane. To ensure crypto's broad acceptance, fair regulations for the industry are essential. Businesses and investors alike benefit from stable, trustworthy legislation. Without them, the industry can't be sure of anything, which limits its ability to thrive. Clear regulations are something that Coinbase is fiercely pursuing. Rulemaking by the SEC is an effort towards clarity. The SEC's relentless pursuit of cryptocurrency companies, compounded by the lack of clear regulations, only serves to further confound matters. Thus, many cryptocurrency firms are departing the United States because they do not perceive a future for themselves here. Despite Coinbase's best efforts to communicate with the SEC, the situation appears to be deteriorating daily. It seems like the SEC is trying to avoid being explicit. Coinbase claims that requesting additional explanations from the SEC is pointless. Coinbase made the comment that it is both unnecessary and utterly unjustified to give the agency any more time to explain itself. I mean, come on. The entire thing makes no sense at all. First, by approving cryptocurrencies at Fs, the SEC appears to be sending a signal of approval. The cryptocurrency market, meantime, is seeing enormous daily infusions of capital. However, it seems that their true intentions are to further restrict the crypto business and tighten government control. The inconsistency is so perplexing that it defies explanation. It appears as though the SEC is engaging in double dealing from an ethical perspective. They seem welcoming and accepting, yet their behavior begs to differ. It's difficult to maintain an attitude of suspicion and doubt regarding their intentions. To put it another way, picture this you had this friend who insisted on telling you they believed in your ambitions and aspirations but who, behind your back, actively worked to undermine your attempts to realize them. It's ridiculous, perplexing, and annoying. The SAC and the cryptocurrency sector are undergoing something similar. This is merely scratching the surface. As the U.S. presidential election draws near, more and more people are talking about how the U.S. government is involved in cryptocurrency. Important concerns often become the center of public attention during elections. In the areas of technology, money, and regulation, candidates frequently hold divergent opinions and advocate for different policies. Election seasons inevitably see Bitcoin as a hot subject due to its position at the crossroads of all these domains. Here is the present situation regarding candidates' stances on matters such as digital currency regulation, which is something that people are interested in knowing, believe. Tell me when I say it will further perplex you. Something completely out of the ordinary has occurred with the sitting president of the United States. Many people think the Biden administration was trying to soften its position on the cryptocurrency industry after approving multiple Ethereum ETFs by the SAC. 
and the industry as a whole came under great scrutiny. Having said that, President Joe Biden did something unexpected not long ago. As you can see, SAB had one. A bill was introduced in 2021 with the intention of influencing the SAC's regulations regarding cryptocurrency assets. In essence, it was a resolution to attempt to obstruct the SAC's enforcement of specific crypto regulations. Plus, Congress just approved it. After it made it through Congress, the cryptocurrency world was ecstatic. It felt good to win. An indication that the government was taking steps to benefit crypto enthusiasts. Members of the community rejoiced, anticipating more favorable laws and maybe even an easing of cryptocurrency limitations as a result. In that instant, optimism and hope reigned. Many are hopeful that the crypto environment will improve as a result of this resolution. Just recently, however, the most recent resolution was vetoed. The proposal that sought to interfere with the SAC's crypto asset rules was rejected by Biden through his veto. As a result, many in the cryptocurrency world are furious and believe that Biden has completely lost their support because of this decision. A brief summary of what transpired is this. For the sake of argument, let's say you and your pals are arranging to go on a road trip. For months, you have eagerly anticipated it, talking about the amazing destinations you will see and the wonderful experiences you will have. Everybody has their belongings in order and is prepared to. Leave on the big day of the vacation. The trip is doing swimmingly as you set out on your journey. The beautiful scenery is making you happy. Joking about with friends while jamming out to your favorite tunes, it seems like your spirits are unshakable. The driver, however, had an epiphany around halfway through the journey and decides to return home. The cryptocurrency community felt that way. By the time SAB 121 made it through Congress, it seemed like they were embarking on a thrilling adventure towards good change and wider acceptance of cryptocurrency. Feeling hopeful about what the future held? They were overjoyed to witness progress being achieved. President Biden's veto, like the impromptu choice to reverse the automobile, caught them off guard and stopped their progress. They appeared to have no choice but to scrap their preparations. They were left feeling disappointed and upset as they were taken. Back to the beginning. Naturally, they were let down by the abrupt transition, and the thrill of the excursion quickly changed to disappointment. Many in the cryptocurrency world were disappointed by Biden's choice. Speaking out, Anthony Scaramucci of Skybridge Capital warned that Biden's position on cryptocurrency could cause unforeseen complications. X. Biden's stance on cryptocurrency might end up costing him more than he knows, he wrote. Vetoing that bill, particularly at this crucial juncture, was an extremely poor choice. Donald Trump, meanwhile, thinks this is just wrong. His stance on cryptocurrency differs sharply from Biden's, as he recently stated. Trump promised to halt Joe Biden's crusade to destroy cryptocurrency during his speech at the Libertarian National Convention. We will put a stop to it. I will make it such that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are developed in the United States, not sent elsewhere. It wasn't the end for Trump. I am really positive and open-minded to Bitcoin enterprises and all things linked to this new and expanding industry. He turned to his social media platform, Truth Social, to emphasize his support for these businesses. There is no second place, he said, emphasizing the significance of the United States being a leader in this area. Trump wasted no time criticizing Biden, claiming that he wanted crypto to fail and describing him as the worst president our nation has ever had. Trump ended by saying, that will never happen with me. Whatever happens next, the problem is obviously significant. A lot of people will be talking about cryptocurrency in the next months, whether it's laws, policy, or possible presidential positions. Every cryptocurrency, including Shiba Inu, will be affected by this major